Welcome back to Home Studio to the ninth video in the installment of our Flask MySQL in Python Anywhere playlist. And what we did last video was just check if the connection was working or not working. Just very basic. We didn't put any error codes, anything like that. We didn't send any variables back and forth. And we didn't generate our own index HTML page. One was generated for us. Now, I just want to show you here that when you look at it, Here's the finished product here. If you do view page source, you're just going to see a line like that. And if you inspect, you are going to see a, a very basic HTML structure here. HTML tags, head tags, which are empty and body. That's it. Now you didn't create that. The browser created that because it had to wrap it in something. So that's there in that H2. Now I just want to point out, if I close this up, that if you go here and put slash index.html it doesn't exist so it didn't create an index.html page it's just creating a page in the default directory temporary dynamic page to look at so we're going to create an index page so that we have one and that way we could put our html and do all kinds of things in it and even use css whatever we want so we're going to do that first and this will just again be an intermediate step before we start creating our html and our table and all that so we're going to go back here. Let me just refresh this just so it's back working again. There we go. <laughs> There's our successfully connected. So what we're going to do here is go back to our code and we're going to do something called render template. So I'm going to put this in here, render template. Now that's what Flask needs to actually render HTML pages. So that's a function here. So we're importing that and that's part of Flask, not part of Python. So we're putting it up here with a comma. And then we're gonna use it down here. So I'm gonna go down here and we're gonna keep the same code except instead of returning uh, an H2, we're gonna create a variable and I'll just call it message equals. And then the second one I'll also call message equals. So we're creating variables here, and the variables will be basically h2 tags with a message in them. So we could keep them the same way. And then what we're going to do with this function is actually return it, the whole function. We're going to return a value from the function. So this will go back out, whether it's if or whether it's else. And we're just going to put return. And then we're going to return the render template function. Render underscore template. That tells Flask that we're going to actually generate our own index.html page. So we're going to put in quotes index.html and it's going to serve as an argument. And then the second argument, we're going to put message equals message. And basically what that'll allow us to do is send a variable to the HTML page that we can display within it. And this message equals message is basically taking a new variable called message that we're going to send along. Now this could be anything. This could be, you know, new message if we want to, but typically they're the same. So I'm just going to leave it as message. But this is the new one that you're sending and it's taking this information. So whatever this is, the, the H2 up here where it's successfully connected or the one that says not connected. That's what it's going to take along. It's going to hold that value and send that along and we're going to be able to use that in double curly braces inside our page. So we're going to go and do that next. We're going to create an HTML file. So we're not going to do anything here. We could save this. And I'm not sure if we'll get any kind of error yet because we may not have something set up. But I think we're OK. So we're set up here. Now I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to go back to files and open up files in a new tab. So we have a bunch of different tabs open. We have our web app. We have our finished front end page. And now we're back in the files again, and I'm going to go into Flask, and I'm going to create a new folder. So that's the directory here, and it's called templates, and it has to be called templates. And I'll just hit new directory. And that's where our index HTML is going to have to go. So there's nothing in there. We could create an index.html file, and we'll put it inside of templates, and I'll just hit new file or you could upload one that you have. Now there's nothing in here and it's really not a lot of fun typing HTML in here. So what I like to do is go to Replit. I'm gonna to go to Replit and I'll log in quick. And I'm logged in as Homa Studio and I'll create a repel. 
make sure it's an HTML CSS JS and I don't need any kind of name right now so I'll just let it alone I'll make it just generic for now and then I could delete it later and what that'll do is give us kind of a skeleton of HTML here and you know even if this wasn't here you can use Emmet to generate something so even if this wasn't here you could do exclamation point hit tab and have the same thing so and this one doesn't put that script in there so I'm just gonna use this right now and actually before I do that I'll go here and make an h1 so I'll do h1 tab and I'll put database connection status now this is just the status we're not putting our information on the page yet and then what we could do down here is just make an h2 and I'll hit tab so I'll make an empty h2 and let me copy this right now I'll copy what I have I'll copy that and then I'll go back to my index page and I'll paste it now inside this h2 what I'm gonna put is now I know we have the h2 tag so we're gonna change that so we have the h2s here let's just get rid of the h2s and put the h2s where they belong on the actual page same thing down here so we'll just put the string without the tags so those will be the strings in here but then we'll put successfully connected and not connected inside the h2s now we can just use the variable because we're sending this variable along message so if we go here we could put something called message now the way they do this is with two curly braces so it'll just display the message in there after the h1 so that should send it along and that's all you have to do you don't have to put anything in here that says use the template flask will know that if it's in the templates folder that that's the one it's going to use and as long as you import the render template function you're fine so this should put that in here and we should have a regular kind of page here you could even change the title we'll just put sb database for now since that's what we're going to be working on we're just going to put sb database for now since that's what we're going to be working on so we're now creating our own index.html page and I'll hit save and over here we did make some changes so we'll have to save so this function is going to be looking inside the templates folder to generate this page and it's going to use that variable and we have that so we should be fine so let's see what happens here I'm going to save this and then this is already saved I believe and I'll go to my web app I'll reload that and then finally I'll go here and refresh and it has database connection status and it's not putting anything on the page so <laughs> let's go see why it's not putting any, anything on the page so there's our message in the, oh I spelled message wrong all right message let's see if we could just update that by refreshing no looks like we're gonna have to save this and I think if you just save that you don't have to rerun it so let me just see nope <laughs> we're gonna rerun it again we'll reload it and then we'll refresh the page sometimes some things happen without even doing that but let's just see okay there we go successfully connected and it's always good to try and break it as well so I'm gonna go back to my main.py and I'll mess up my password and I'll save it and I don't have to save my index I'll go to my web app I'll reload it and then we'll go to this database page reload that and we get not connected and you could use CSS to color it now it's not just straight CSS we have to put it in a static folder we'll deal with that later uh, we could put some inline CSS if we wanted to but that's fine so that's working that's all I'm going to do in this video uh, we just created our index HTML page we're using render template to do that and that way we could put all our HTML in here and I might even keep using replit to generate things like tables and stuff like that because it's just not a really great area to, to be writing HTML code inside here so again we have our index.html it's in a templates folder inside of flask our flask directory we have our main py that's inside of our flask directory and down here we told it to go inside here and we sent along a variable with it and we're using the render template function and that's about it 
So we're connecting right now. The next thing we'll do is actually start displaying information from our database in our 10th video. We're finally going to be doing that. So that'll be coming up.